The following trailer is rated H for honest. A long time ago, in a galaxy that's actually just this galaxy, comes a game series that took the world's favorite sci-fi franchise, combined it with the world's most popular toy line, and ended up with a run-of-the-mill collectathon platformer for eight-year-olds, Lego Star Wars. In a world where games based directly on the Star Wars movies are either bad, really bad, I'm solo, I'm I'm solo. or straight up nonsense, get ready for an inoffensive and moderately faithful video game adaptation of the films, where you'll protect the galaxy from the perpetual grasping clutches of the dark side by doing some mild puzzle solving and picking up everything that isn't nailed to the ground. Return to a time where instead of awkwardly pulling clips from the movies and hiring sound-alikes, LEGO games just relied on short Zelda-style grunts and over-the-top animations to tell a story. As LEGO Star Wars delivers the epic saga of the Star Wars movies, the significantly less epic tale of the prequels, and the surprisingly compelling storyline of the Clone Wars show, through the medium of more slapstick and cheap visual gags than a Charlie Chaplin movie, Turns out Jar Jar is way less annoying as a mute. Who knew? Jump between a plethora of characters from the classic Star Wars films, featuring some characters you know and love, and an absolute sh** pile of generic dudes you couldn't care less about, as you blast and lightsaber your way through innumerable locations from the movies, then slowly descend into obsessive compulsive madness as you scour those locations for every last stud for that sweet, sweet completion rate. Oh, yeah. In an industry packed to the brim with sumptuous 50-hour feasts, tuck into the video game equivalent of a light snack as you cruise through a simplistic level design engineered to be completed by literal toddlers, where you'll take on basic platforming challenges, PG fight scenes, and tasks that could only generously be described as puzzles in a gameplay loop about as challenging as taking a quick nap. Then watch as the LEGO game series removes the only actually educational part of LEGOs, the building as your characters automatically assemble whatever you need to fix your problems when you hold down a single button, and you're left to hunt around the levels for the pieces you need instead. You know, the fun part of Legos. So put that Lego sack back into your closet, and get ready to revisit your Star Wars and Lego nostalgia digitally this time. Yes, even the prequels. Because as painful as your memories of those are, nothing compares to the pain of stepping on an actual Lego. <laughs> Starring blocks, blocks, more blocks, even more blocks, lots more blocks, a ton of freaking blocks, and Chewblocka, Lego Brand Synergy. Lego Star Wars superheroes and Harry Potter are all pretty cool, but you know what we really need? Lego Fast and Furious. Everybody get foolish,